Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode zero of the Nerds Inc. modded Minecraft Let's Play Season Two. We're here on 1710, still on our private Nerds Inc. mod pack, and yeah. So, why don't I explain the mods a little bit? And there's John John, yay! Yay! So oh, here is all right. Here's the mods we've got in our mod pack. We have damage indicators, which basically, whenever you look at a mob or something, it'll show you their health. Um, advanced genetics, which allows you to, um, pretty much, like, take genes from mobs and implant them in yourself. Advanced machines, which is an Industrial Craft 2 add-on that allows you to, um, uh, it allows you to make upgraded machines. Uh, AE2, which is a cool mod that played with quite a bit in Season 1. Well, not quite a bit. We, we dabbled into it a little bit. Never really got into the cool parts of it, but we'll, we're planning on getting to the cooler parts this time around. Um, we have Archimedes ships, which allows you to create your own ships and move them around. Uh, Aroma backup, which will uh, do scheduled backups of your server so we don't lose it all the time every time we crash. Um, we have the backpacks mod, which pretty much allows you to make backpacks that you can carry around and store stuff in. We have Bibliocraft, which adds a ton of decorative stuff, along with Biblio Woods for Biomes of Plenty and Natura. We have uh, Big Reactors, which um, allows you to create reactors to create tons of RF. And we have Binny's Mods, which is extra bees, extra trees, uh, botany, and genetics, which basically it's a, a forestry add-on that adds a lot more bee and tree breeding stuff and genetic manipulation with the bees and trees and he added a new thing called botany which allows you to breed flowers which I'm interested to see oh man that zombie kind of came produce? out of nowhere what? did that produce? did they produce? the flowers? yeah um I don't, I don't know much about mod actually the one it's, like okay I, I think for the moment they're just purely decorative I don't even think they make dyes at this point but he might add stuff in the future. Um, we have Biomes of Plenty, which adds lots of nifty new biomes, like the one we're standing in right now, which is a savanna biome, which is where we're going to live in the new world. Um, blood Magic, which allows you to use, at first, your blood, and later, the blood of other mobs to um, do special magical cool things. And then we have Blue Power, which is a complete remake, or not complete yet, but it's going to be basically a remake of uh, Red Power 2, which is awesome. We're going to have all the tubes back, and the sorting system, and all that cool stuff. And this ruby pickaxe included, with all the gems and everything. Oh. Okay, so we also have Batania, which adds all of these flowers that are everywhere and allows you to cool, do cool, nifty, magical things with them. Then we're going to have Buildcraft, which adds um, pipes and to get things around, quarry to mine for you and stuff. Then we have Carpenter's Blocks, which allows you to do... It's ba basically a decorative mod. The, my favorite part of it is the fact that it allows you have, to have uh, slopes in Minecraft. Um, we have Chisel, which is another decorative mod that adds a ton of blocks. And we have Compact Solars, which um, allows you to get upgraded solar panels from IC2. And um, we have Dense Ores, which adds uh, dense versions of ores that you'll find in their veins that give you a little extra. We have Dimensional Anchor, which adds some nice chunk loaders. And Kyridium, which adds a book binder where you can store a bunch of books in. And Dario, which adds a bunch of machines and five different types of conduits that can all fit into a single block. Uh, Ender Storage is back. That was when we missed our last world, wasn't it, John John? Yeah. So basically, this came before Vanilla's Ender Chest. And it it's better, because it allows you to have um, six, or not 16, well, I mean, a lot of different, uh, you color code your Ender Chests, and there's a lot of different combos you can use and stuff so you get a lot of them and they're not linked to one player 
so like you can and automate them. And ender stuff. tanks. Oh yes, and ender tanks, which are basically ender chests for fluids. And then we have ender tech, which is a thermal expansion add-on that, um, I don't know too much about. It adds, uh, its own, like, ender tank thing. It's not, like, the ender storage one at all, but it's, like, just a storage tank. And, I don't know, it, it looks very promising. Um, and then we have extra utilities, which is an awesome mod that just adds a bunch of random things to, for stuff. I'm lost. <laughs> Why is my hunger not going down? I don't think we're on peaceful. I'm seeing zombies. No, my hunger is going down. And oh, I hear spiders. Mine just went down. Mine just went down. Okay. Um, let's see. Then we have factorization, which, uh, which adds um, a bunch of cool stuff related to stuff. And we have fast craft, which, um, for those of you who don't know, vanilla 1710 has a horrible, horrible chunk generation bug. Which makes it super laggy when, like, especially at the beginning of the game, but probably just mostly throughout it. And it's not too bad in vanilla itself, but um, mods make it like a hundred times worse. So, but pretty much, Fast Craft makes the game playable through all of that. And um, we have Professor Flaxbeard's wonderful Steam Power mod, which adds a ton of Steam related stuff. We have Forge Multi Part integration which um allows every block in the game to be cut with left forge multi-part we have forestry which adds tons of which adds bee breeding tree breeding automated farms lots of coolness all the breeding. what what all the breeding yeah oh and butterflies uh which are pretty much still useless <laughs> let's see then we have hats and hat stand by itune and basically you get hats that you can wear. I don't have any yet, but this is the menu. You'd pick a hat and wear it. Um, then we have Industrial Craft 2, which adds a ton of machines and other nifty mechanics. Uh, inventory tweaks, which allows you to do stuff such as sort your inventory and other stuff. Iron chest, which adds upgraded versions of chests that can hold more. Uh... We have Jabba, which is just another better barrel add-on, which adds barrels, basically. It's not an add-on. Awesome. Well, that, that's that's what Jabba stands for, so, you know. Um, then we have Mariculture, which adds a ton of stuff to the oceans and even adds a fish breeding system, which I am definitely wanting to get into this time around. I'm super excited to get into Mariculture. I've looked into it a little more. And, than I ever have, and yeah, it's such a cool mod, and we're totally gonna get into it. Um, we have mechanism, which adds a ton of machines that, and like it even adds five times ore processing. You heard that right, five times ore processing. But it's a pretty complicated setup. So yeah, um, let's see, what else do we have? We have. The modular force field system, which adds force fields and force manipulators that can do cool stuff. Uh, Mine Factory Reloaded. Yes. One of my favorite mods. Great automated... Basically, it's all about automating all the things. Good, uh, Cool automated farms, cool automated spawners, just automated everything. Uh, then we have Mine Menu, which uh, adds this nice little menu where you can add keybinds, commands, whatever you want to these little slots right here. Which is cool. I think one of my trees just grew. Yay, plum tree. Okay. Um, we have morph, which allows you to transform into mobs. Yay. It gives you some of their abilities. So like a spy as a spider, you can climb up walls and stuff. And uh, we have Morpheus, which is a uh, mod that's not very useful in single player, but on a server, it's quite useful. Basically, only half of the people on the server need to sleep for it to become day. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. And we have Natura, which has a ton of nature-related stuff. Uh, Necromancy, which allows you to take mob parts and stitch them together to make your own mobs to follow you around as your minions. Uh... NEI, which is this cool mod that basically has different modes such as uh, 
recipe mode, and cheat mode, and utility mode. Like in cheat mode, you can cheat in items, change yourself to creative, all that stuff. But in recipe mode, you're just basically, you know, not doing that. So yeah, you're, you can uh, see recipes for things by doing stuff. Coolness. All the things. Yep, pretty much. Then we have obsidian plates, which adds obsidian pressure plates, which can only be opened by players. And um, we have open blocks, which is another mod that adds just a ton of random useful things. Uh, Opus, which adds a ton of server profiling tools to help you detect where lag is coming from, and a nice little map. Uh, we have we also have Pam's Harvest Craft, which adds a ton of nifty foods to the game. Uh, we have Pneumatic Craft, which adds a bunch of stuff related to air pressure. Progressive Automation, which is one we're probably going to be using in the first few episodes. It's uh, let's see. Aggressive automation, let's go there. Now. Whoa, that car though. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, like, you have all these you have miners, choppers, planters, and generators that are um, all pretty early game stuff, but um, this did win the most balanced mod from the re most recent Mod Gem award. So, I'm kind of interested to check it out. We're going to definitely be using it early game. Uh, we have, okay. Jonathan, this is the one we are pretty much, the new mod we are pretty much most excited for. Project E. Yes. yes. It is a complete rewrite of Equivalent Exchange 2. For those of you who were around back then oh, in the yes. 125 days, you guys will remember E2 as one of the most awesome mods ever. And, or one of the most OP. You can remember it either way. But yeah. So, for those of you who remember it from back then, Hope you guys will enjoy us playing with it. For those of you who um, weren't around back then, I'm super excited to show you guys how it works and get you excited, as excited for it as I am. Um, then we have Railcraft, which adds a ton of stuff with trains and mine carts and all that stuff. Then we have Random Things, which again adds just a ton of random things. Um, then we have Redstone Arsenal, which adds a bunch of... Uh, RF tools and refined relocation, which adds some cool stuff such as an awesome early game sorting system, which we'll be probably getting into. Uh, we'll probably be using that until Blue Power integrates a way, adds a way to create power, so we can use their sorting system. And um, let's see, we have ref or, uh, remote I/O, which allows you to remotely access blocks. Uh, rotatable blocks, which allows you to rotate any block with a wrench, and uh, we have simply jetpacks, which adds RF. We're jetpacks that run off of RF. We have Steve's carts, which adds modular carts that you can, like, just you can make your carts do whatever you want. They can farm any. They can farm for you. They can mine for you. They can guard your base for you. It's pretty cool. Uh, we also have Steve's factory manager which adds some cool automation, and Steve's Workshop, which adds, like, basically a cool thing that we're probably going to be making episode one-ish. Um, then we have Sync, which allows you to clone yourself. Talismans, which adds a ton of cool things for baubles, which I forgot to mention. You just click this little thing right here to go to your baubles inventory, and you have these slots where you can put stuff. So Talismans... Adds some stuff that you put in your bobble slots and gives you cool buffs and stuff. Um, is Jonathan still here? No. Okay, he's not. Um, Tinker's Construct, which allows you to create awesome tools. Thomcraft 4.2. Oh, he's here. I can't hear you, Jonathan. Okay. Uh, ooh, I'm about to die of starvation. I need to get food. Right now. Um, yeah. So, we have Thawncraft 4.2, which added a ton of cool stuff. Thawncraft's basically, like, the first magical mod there ever was. And it's still probably one of the best today. We also have Thawmic Exploration and Thawmic Tinkerer, two add-ons for Thawncraft. Uh, Thermal Expansion, which adds... It's another mod that adds a bunch of machines related to ore processing and stuff. 
but it, it does a lot more than that, and it's it's really cool mod. Again, we'll be getting to that super early on. Um, Tinker's Mechworks, which is a Tinker's Construct add-on that adds some cool stuff such as drawbridges. Uh, Translocators, which is a cool way like to transport items between chests like that are one block away, or any inventory for that matter. Then we have Twilight Forest, which adds a cool new dimension that we're probably going to get to... Not necessarily early game, but hopefully not too far into it. It's a cool dimension. Uh, then we have... Okay, this one is pretty much hilarious. Jonathan, you might want to unmute your mic to this one. What? I think you know what mod I'm talking about. Hilarious mod. No? You don't know? Okay. Well, it's called Villager's Nose. And pretty much... Oh gosh, I am dying of starvation. You got food, John John? Okay. Um, <laughs> ah, there we go. Steak. Alright, so we have... Yeah, Villager's Nose lets you cut off a Villager's Nose with shears and wear it or plant it to grow a new Villager. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we also have Wayla, which is called... It stands for What Am I Looking At? And you can see it up there. It says I'm looking at a grass block from Minecraft. Coolness. And then we have uh, witchery, and that adds a ton of cool witchcraft-related things. So that is all we've got. Witchcraft. So um, we will see you guys in episode one of season two of our modded Minecraft Let's Play. And Jonathan, peace.